Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Um, I apologize if you hear noise in the background, it's the washer and it's the dryer. So um, let us not focus on that, but if you hear it, that's what it is, okay? This is again for all signs. And wow, first card out is grief, mourning, sadness, and sorrow. So this is kind of a current energy collectively. Um, not for all, but for some, well, a lot, millions, and also people around the world. So you're talking to a lot of people. There is, I mean, you know what's funny is it feels like this grief, mourning, sadness, and sorrow was quick, right? We've talked about that in the past few readings, that even though the outcome wasn't what we wanted, we don't necessarily feel like... Like, like, I don't know, we feel, we feel good, we feel calm, we feel, we feel okay. It's like a weird calmness and like this weird peace that we feel. You got the volcano, holy shit, and the rainbow. A miracle, God's promise, and good luck. You know, the, the rainbow keeps coming up. And, and that's exactly why we feel like that energy we felt is sort of passed through us quickly. Because something is telling us like, hold on, just wait, hold on, just wait. So something is about to burst out into the surface because you have the volcano as well too. So as you know how volcanoes work, well, most people, not to, I, should, I should take this back. After what I've seen since the election, I can't just assume people know things. So the way a volcano works is you don't know it's gonna blow unless you're a scientist, right? Studying the actual activity of it, but regular normal people don't know until it blows. So it's everything that lays beneath the surface, right? Everything that's sort of brewing and brewing and brewing beneath the surface. And every day thus far, the volcano card has come up. It's, it's even what I see every time like, I tune in to the energy, it's volcano. Now the card itself does say anger, uh, anger, explosive, and passion. So this could be quite a few things, right? For some of you, this can be a person coming out of the sheer blue just boom and and they sort of confess feelings that they have or they come forward with passion and it really feels like that's what this is um collectively if we want to talk about the collective energy this is something else we feel something brewing there's some kind of a plot thickening or something brewing and you know we've been speaking about this past few days or whatever past week how it feels like some powers to be that are unseen, that are um, not of this realm, are quite pissed the fuck off. And so I think it is a combination of that, you know, that like their certain mother nature feels like mm, pissed because um, it is a feminine energy. And then, you know, a lot of the feminine deities, Kalima, Lilith, Goddess Isis, Hecate, you know, you're talking straight across the board, Lady Artemis, right? I mean, we can go down the line here. Even Kuan Yin pissed, okay? And Kuan Yin is miscompassion and empathy. So it, it is that energy as well. Something's going to sort of explode out, um, you know, connected to the divine feminine energy, the rise up of the divine feminines to fight off the darkness. That's why we're called light workers. Um, but also, it feels like someone comes forward passionately. There's a feeling, and it could be also, yeah, with the mirror crossing some sort of threshold. So, I mean, this is the threshold, right? Like, hiding in the dark. Now, for some of you, that's really symbolic of you haven't met this person yet. So this is like an actual encounter that's coming in the future. And then for some of you, it's someone you already know that's been sort of keeping their feelings or intentions below the surface so it could be all of the above and it could be communication you have the bridge unite connection and communication so what's going to happen now is energetically because we know this right your vibe attracts your tribe and so based on your current energy and vibration, you're gonna to start to attract different people into your life. You're gonna like be sort of separating and detaching from some other people, but then also, you know, bringing in new people. This is why right now community is a big deal. 
Um, a lot of people are feeling like they want to be surrounded by or in communication with or engage with like-minded individuals because energy is contagious. This for some of you could be, if we're talking about a new person, right? You meet someone new and they feel in the same way you're feeling, right? You guys are on the same side, if you want to put it just in layman's terms. Um, this wouldn't be someone that has opposing views or someone who you feel like you'd have to point out the most basics of things. You know, this is probably someone who understands how tariffs really work. Uh, someone who can understand the basics of economy. Um, you know, and just like certain things that are like important to us or things that we know, such as, you know, basic equal rights and like, you, you know, we're, we're trying to save the world here, you know, but not just for a select few. We're trying to save the world and it ends with a period. Okay, on period. So they would, they would share the same values as you. Now, for those of you who don't share those types of values and you value other things, you will meet like-minded people like that. Um... Because it's just, this is what it is. Your your vibe attracts your tribe. Now, I know that with that sorrow and the grief card, right? A lot of people have experienced that in the form of losing friends, losing family members, because everybody showed their ass, right? And, you know, where it would be more polite to sort of keep things to oneself. This climate right now is about people thinking and feeling that it's okay to just publicly say whatever they want and feel. And it has been coming across whether it's racist or ignorant. Um, and so, you know, that, it, 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 again, showing the ass. Because now you're seeing someone's true character or how someone really feels. So, you, I mean, we were hearing this every day that people are saying, you know, I've lost my best friend or my, their, 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 their spouse, you know, or their other half. They're, you see what I'm saying? Boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, you're seeing it straight across the board because it has created such a line. So for some of you that have been mourning that, you know, release of family, friends, coworkers, soul tribe, right? We talked about this, that this is the type of soul tribe where you don't want to burn this bridge. You know, you had bridge right here. You don't want to burn this bridge. See, because what we learned is to have boundaries, right, on the self-love journey. And what we learned is that I won't allow people in my life that I cannot trust or that I don't feel safe with. I cannot have you on my ship, my boat, if you're drilling holes. So if I catch you drilling holes in my ship or my boat, you most certainly won't be welcome back. Is kind of the best way to put it, right? And that's not because well we're the we're the we're, we promote hate. It's because I don't fucking think so. That would be like us going back in time and and, and accepting repeated terrible behavior from romantic interests. We learned, so therefore because we learn, we we understand that. Listen, I I just I can't go, I I can't. You know, it's it's about not necessarily, you, you can't take offense because that's what you chose. And we hope you chose the right side. Because you know, on this side, when shit go down, we band together. That's what we do. No man left behind. We pray for you, we root for you, we support you, we hold sacred space for you, right? We'll go to war with you and for you. You can't play both sides either. So the mourning is something realistic for a lot of people right now. And if you're in that position and you feel alone, honey, don't worry. You know, because you're going to start encountering people that have basically the same values as you, that has the same idea and goals as you, your vibe will attract your new tribe, okay? That's just how it works. All right, let's get into the tarot and let's really see what's the deal. All right, let's get it. Let's just get right into it. Let's see what's happening. First card, Ooh, King of Pentacles. That's the magician. So you can, it's now you see me, now you don't. But it's also, now you see me again for some of you, is the way it comes across. So you met, then nothing happened, now something's going to happen, right? 
this is also a masculine energy who's very solid, very stable, very reliable. Um, they would be very even keeled. They would be somebody who could be very financially successful. This person has really good morals though, because you can just feel the energy off of him. He feels really seasoned. He feels like somebody that you can trust. Someone who won't throw you under the bus or won't speak to you in any type of ill way or speak to others in that way unless they deserve it. it it's giving Zeus energy is what the King of Pentacles feels like. I know in Greek mythology, Zeus wasn't very kind and nice, but I, I'm giving you, it's like King of the Gods kind of a vibe, but at a higher vibration, okay? Because that's what Zeus was, right? King of the Gods. It's giving Jupiter energy and we're going to be coming up into Sag season as well too. So this can be all connected to something coming very soon in the next coming weeks when we hit Sag season. Uh, this could be an entrepreneur. This could be someone here who is um, has made really great choices financially. If they have children, they would be an amazing father. If they don't have children, they're just an amazing fucking person, period. That's an amazing human being right there. Amazing human being. Oh, shit. Two peas in a pod. Did I not fucking tell you your vibe will attract your tribe? Fucking told you. King and queen of pentacles. Because see how she's holding the light right there? You're going to attract somebody in who's also holding the light, too. I told you. This, this is basic, simple math reading the energy right now. Because it's energetic. This is a keeper of the light. This is a light holder. What does that mean? Well, it means that we basically want to try to help fucking save the world, but we have to help save ourselves first, do our self-work and the healing journey and spiritual journey, awakening, whatever you want to call it, right? He, this person has also done the same thing too, but I'm telling you, it's going to be two peas in a pod. Because you might think right now, my God, like fucking great. These are the fucking options out there. Well, you'd be surprised how much real good people out there. You'd be surprised. You'd be fucking surprised how much good people think that, that, that think just like you. Where are they? Where are they? Watch, you guys don't cross paths. Two peas in a pod, that's counterparts. Because you're basically, I want to show it to you too. Her toe is touching the ground, right? Which tells us that she is grounded. And in this type of an energy, it's crucial for you to stay grounded. It's crucial for you not to get carried away and, you know, go allow yourself to spiral, I guess is the best way to put it. Ace of Wands told you something's coming in. That could be that whole thing coming through passionately, right? When you meet, it would be aggressive net energy and behavior. Or if it's someone coming back in, it's like an offer. Ace of Wands tells us it's, pa it's related to passion. You did have that with the um, with the volcano. Literally says passion. Can that be anger as well too? Yeah. Could be lashing out. It's a wand. It's action. Action is neither good nor bad. It's the intention behind it. Just like magic. Just like money. What are, what's this intention here? This intention feels like very good intentions, okay? But also at the same time, you, you might be experiencing a backlash. You might be experiencing, you know, the other end of things. And listen, I think we're all experiencing it in some way, shape, or form because <clears throat> all of a sudden now, hatred, bigotry, racism, all of these different things, um, people feel safe just publicly acting like that, saying these things publicly. This is showing the ass, as we said. So you, you're going to be seeing people for who they are, honey. Remember, the saying is, that's been coming up recently, it's no longer about seeing the good in people, it's about seeing the truth. There's almost like truth being revealed. Which is also light, because truth is light. So there's something coming in. Five of Pentacles. See, I told you, feeling sad, isolated, feeling alone. Ten of Pentacles. God damn, that's a lot of fucking money. There could be a huge windfall unexpectedly. See that tower? Tower is unexpected, out of left field, divine intervention. That could be money. I swear to God, it comes up constantly, a windfall of money. Now, whether this windfall of money comes via winning it, being given it, or you meet someone with a lot of motherfucking money. It could be all of the above at this point. It's a general reading. But that's a lot of money coming in. That could be a lot of blessings as well too, right? You know, when you do good, the universe bless you. When you are cruel and vile, well, the universe bless you in different ways too. 
but not that kind of blessings. Because it feels like good blessings, right? Like abundance and things. Now, the tower can be a little bit scary because, you know, that's that like out of left field. Um, when lightning strikes, it's unexpected. So you don't know, you can't predict where lightning will strike. And that's what that feels like too. There's this unpredictability. So I, I mean, if we, if we relate this to love, this would be an unpredictable, some, uh, an unpredictable, passionate encounter or someone comes forward passionately unexpectedly out of fucking left field you know take it as you will but this is what i'm feeling in the extended we're going to feel out everything else now this is very important do not click off yet if you are interested in any of my two protection bracelets that i put up on my website which i know right now we're going to have to just this is crucial or you want to order my chapel rose deck you must order them now because I'm nervous how things are going to go come January because of the tariffs. Um, a lot of us business owners who get a lot of our products from out of country, we're making executive decisions now. We're going to be doing, you know, stack, stocking up on some shit, basically. I only wanted to print 55 of my Chapel Rose decks. I've already hit 55 pre-orders, but I'm going to let it run probably up until the end of the week. We'll see how much more I sell of them because I really don't want to purchase a whole bunch it's a it's a whole shit show bringing things in through custom when it's a, a certain dollar amount and it's a certain weight um but if you have been sitting on the fence about that i would order it now because i told you guys without knowing why i said it right i was like well if you order it later the price is gonna go up yeah i mean i guess i'm psychic if you order it later the price will go up and i just don't know by how much um, the two protection bracelets, the evil eye one is on my website, as well as the black obsidian psychic protection. Those are not pre-orders. Those are a set amount of 25 each when on my website. When, when it runs out, it runs out. Now, if you order those bracelets and you have outstanding orders, everything's going to be packed up together by the end of November this month and everything's going out. Everything must go out because I'm going to have to now <coughs> make decisions of what I'm going to stock up on products wise um, to sort of get around the tariffs if that's going to be how it's going to be in the future. Like I said, most of my stuff comes from out of country because it's I cannot it's too expensive to buy things here in the U.S., although we all want to support, you know, buying in the U.S. made in the U.S. That's just not feasible as a business owner always. So check out those things. Don't miss out on that. Um, also, if you want to rent this extended, click both so do the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It'll take you to my website. That's where you're going to be doing your pre-orders or putting your order in for the Evil Eye or Psychic Protection Bracelet. Um, and you're going to go to the extended readings and special love slash oracle readings. Don't forget, follow me on my uh, second channel, my vlog lifestyle channel called Missy in Wonderland. I've been super busy. I have not been able to edit the videos that I have already waiting. I've got two videos waiting and I'm going to have another one coming very soon. So I apologize. I've just been super busy and it's just been chaotic everywhere, right? Um, what else? I think that's it. Well, one spot left for my Sedona retreat in March 2025. And if you're interested in that, please only put your application in if you ain't bullshitting around. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you. Bye.